move to the next uh, presenter is uh, Dr. Yu San Wang uh, from, from Taiwan. So he's a molecular biologist and his topic is potential enhancement of host immunity and anti-tumor efficacy of nanoscale curcumin and resveratrol in colorectal cancers by modulated electrohyperthermia. Good morning and thank you. Uh, thank you. Can you hear me? A little bit low, maybe you can. Okay, uh, maybe is that, is that better? Yes. Okay, uh, uh, thank you for inviting me to have this presentation. Uh, today, I would like to share our study, which is uh, use the nanoscale curcumin and the respiratory to combine it with uh, oncosomia to treat cancer. Uh, uh, as, uh, we, we also want to find some way to synergistic with uh, oncosomia for the cancer treatment. Since uh, oncosomia has been uh, synergist shown to have some synergistic effect with uh, uh, many kinds of uh, cancer therapy and uh, for uh, curcumin and the resveratrol are excellent antioxidant and have some immune activation potential. So we uh, want to uh, study that if that uh, combined with curcumin and the resveratrol uh, uh, plus oncosomia will be a better uh, synergistic effect. Uh, the major problem for curcumin and uh, resveratrol is the poor bioavailability. So uh, in, in uh, our study, we have play, uh, developed a unique platform for the nanolyzed uh, curcumin and the resveratrol. And uh, uh, we would like to see if, if that will be better for, for combined with oncosermia. Sorry, uh, curcumin is known to have uh, some function that uh, anti-inflammation, anti-bacteria, or or some uh, uh, antioxidant, and uh, is known as a cancer chemo preventive agent in many kind of cancer. Uh, but uh, it has been reported that uh, curcumin suppress tumor develop by inhibiting uh, IF kappa B and the AKT pathway. Uh, in addition, uh, curcumin also enhance host anti-tumor immunity by reducing the population of regulatory T cell and the inhibiting uh, T cell apoptosis. Mm, however, the major problem for curcumin is the low bioavailability. Uh, due to the poor water solu uh, solubility. So uh, uh, this uh, hugely limited the using in clinical oncology. And uh, for resveratrol, it's also uh, found to uh, inhibit several kinds of cancer uh, with low toxicity and uh, uh, low side effect. Just like in breast cancer, resveratrol have shown some suppress uh, proliferation through modulated uh, CDK4 and the cycling D1 expression and the increase the cytoplasmic concentration of calcium to activate P53, resulting in uh, apoptosis of cancer cell. In colon rectal cancer, resveratrol changes the nuclear localization of uh, beta ketonin, resulting in reducing beta ketonin signal, link, uh, which inhibits uh, tumor invasion and uh, metastasis. However, similar to the problem of uh, curcumin, the poor bioavailability is also a problem and uh, limited the clinical use for cancer treatment. So uh, in here we have uh, using the nano uh, uh, nanoparticle producing machine, and uh, uh, we have generated some uh, high bio uh, science, some nano sized uh, curcumin and the resveratrol, just like this uh, figure show. Uh, uh, before the uh, nano 
Nado the Nado Nizing, the uh, water solubility is very bad. And uh, after uh, Nado Nizing, the water soluble is very good. And uh, we also check the particle size and uh, to make sure the Nado Nizing efficiency. Since oncosemia can specifically target tumor tissue and the induce apoptosis attack the lift raft and the disrupt the integrity of cell membrane to an enable influx of uh, potential chemo drug, this study intend to use oncosemia to increase tumor cell uptake of curcumin and uh, resveratrol. And uh, uh, in first step, we check the overall uh, bioavailability of nanosized compound of curcumin and the receiver retro, uh, we analyze in uh, rate model. The blood level after oral administration of nano compound was compared to the original status of the curcumin and the receiver suspension. Uh, the mean uh, curcumin and the respiratory concentration in serine after oral administration uh, of nanoparticle uh, at one hour uh, was significantly increased uh, up to uh, the plasma concentration for curcumin and the respiratory were higher and uh, up to uh, eight, about 18 fold, fold or 8 fold uh, after nanolite size. Uh, we also check the cell viability for the anti tumor efficiency of curcumin and the respiratory uh, in either single use or combined use. The result indicated that both uh, curcumin and respiratory have uh, good anti-tumor efficiency to uh, colon rectal cancer cell line CT26. And uh, in this, uh, this phenomenon is in a dose-dependent manner. Uh, and uh, the com combined usage dramatically decrease the cell viability at a low concentration as compared to the single use. Uh, we next investigated the mechanism of decreasing cell viability by uh, curcumin and the respiratory. CD26 cell were treated with uh, curcumin and the respiratory for 24 hours and analyzed the cell cycle profile. Uh, as we can see, the uh, curcumin can significantly de decrease the S phase and uh, while increase the G2M phase ratio in compared to the control. And uh, when treated with resveratrol, the G0, G1 phase ratio was significantly higher. And uh, for the com uh, com combined therapy, uh, the uh, interesting is the G0, G1 phase was uh, decreased. And uh, the cell cycle uh, change resulting from the treatment of curcumin and the respiratory were further confirmed by the cycling associated with the cell cycle, just like uh, cycling D1 and the cycling A. And the both of them are decreased after uh, curcumin and the respiratory treatment. And uh, to further evaluate the anti-tumor efficiency of the curcumin and the respiratory we combine uh, with oncosemia, we next uh, investigate the apoptotic effect uh, by using an acid by staining. The three-hour treatment show oncosemia could uh, induce a significantly higher apoptosis. Sorry, uh, apoptosis. Mm, and uh, after 24 hours, both the uh, oncosemia treatment group uh, show significantly higher apoptotic rate, and uh, which is consistent with our previous observation. And um, uh, in here we can see that uh, the oncosemia plus curcumin and the respiratory induce more apoptotic cell in compared with uh, oncosemia alone. Uh, 
the potential of ptosis uh, triggering effect resulting from the curcumin and retroviral and oncosomia was further confirmed uh, by Winston Brat to check the case history. And uh, this data also show that uh, combined uh, three of these agents uh, can further promote uh, apoptosis of CD26. And uh, some dying apoptotic cell release their cellular content. And uh, this content, um, uh, most of them are so-called danger-associated molecular, uh, like uh, kill reticulin, HSA protein, HNGB1, etc., which act as a danger signal to immune immunogenic cell death and induce uh, protective anti-tumor immunity. And uh, for uh, to investigate the, the immunogenic cell death, uh, we further uh, check the HSA protein. And uh, we can see that the HSA protein uh, uh, has been upregulated in the three combined group. And uh, after combined with the uh, uh, curcumin and the resveratrol, the uh, calorectriculin also uh, be uh, elevated. Uh, and uh, we believe that uh, those results show the oncosomia combined with curcumin and the resveratrol could induce cell apoptosis and the immunogenic cell death to trigger the further immune response. And uh, in next step, we have uh, used the in vivo model to check the anti-cancer efficiency. And uh, uh, after 14 days of the treatment, uh, mice were sacrificed and check the tumor, uh, tumor weight and the size. And uh, the tumor volume and tumor weight uh, for the three combination treatment group was significantly small and light uh, in compare with other groups. And uh, those results uh, indicated the, that uh, this is consistent with our previous in vitro finding and indicated uh, the oral administration of curcumin and the respiratory combined with oncosomia could significantly suppress the tumor growth. And uh, we further uh, evaluate the immune response uh, by using the uh, immunohistochemistry to analyze the cell, uh, immune cell infiltration in, in tumor tissue. And our data show that both uh, uh, T cell lymphocyte and uh, macrophage were significantly increased number uh, in, in compare with the control group. And uh, this indicated that in addition to reduce cell tumor cell viability, the combined treatment could trigger host immunity by uh, recruiting T cell and macrophage. Uh, moreover, the overexpression of Kisha protein was also found in our tissue, sorry. Uh, that uh, uh, since HSA protein 70 is known as a dangerous signal induced by cell stress, uh, induced by hyperthermia and uh, curcumin, and uh, uh, could able to att attack and activate the uh, antigen preventing cell. Uh, this is our support our hypothesis that uh, potential immune activation was uh, induced by curcumin and the respiratory treatment. Uh, plus oncosermia. So in conclusion, uh, our study show that uh, the nanoparticle curcumin uh, plus resveratrol could be a good uh, uh, syn synergistic effect with oncosermia and uh, increase the uh, HSA protein release and uh, uh, immune response. And uh, we hope the further uh, clinical study can be uh, performed to confirm our data. And uh, th thank you. Uh, this data has been uh, published in this year of the BMC cancer. Okay. 
Thank you so much for your presentation. It's, it's wonderful how combining different things uh, we can help uh, having good results. And we have uh, one comment and one question from the audience. It's from Arian Taponi. You can ask. Arian, I don't know if you hear me if you want to ask. I can read your question. You are asking, is there any data to indicate the appropriate dosage of these agents in humans? And if not, are you planning any human studies? Uh, there are several clinical studies to show the, the potential dose, but uh, since we are nanoscale, so we may uh, want to uh, adjust some uh, dosage but this is not uh, being determined. Okay, so thank you so much. And there is a comment that the, public, the presentation is, is really interesting. So thank, thank you, you for that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much.